Hi everybody, this is David with Cartoon Fortress. Uh, today we have a release that I have been anticipating for uh, months. Uh, Criterion announced their spine number 1000 and that is of course uh, this beautiful Godzilla, um, I don't know if we want to call it a box set, it's more of a book but at any rate, this is a very exciting release. This is Godzilla, the Showa era films, and these have films from 1954 to 1975, and it does contain 15 individual films. And as you can see, this has a very striking cover, very colorful, very comic-like, um, and it's, honestly even better in person it's it's quite stunning and the book has a uh, really some nice heft to it so here and, th and this set's so big it's it's kind of hard to get everything in in frame but uh, here's the spine so we get the Godzilla the Showa era films 1954 to 1975 and then we get the Criterion Collection logo and then our spine 1000 marking on the bottom. Let's jump to the back here. So this gives us a uh, breakdown here. Um, so we you get 15 kaiju classics and let's just go through these really quick. We have Godzilla from 1954, Godzilla Raids again from 1955, King Kong vs. Godzilla from 1963, Mothra vs. Godzilla from 1964, Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster from 1964 as well. Invasion of Astro Monster from 1965. Ibira Horror of the Deep from 1966. Son of Godzilla from 1967. Destroy All Monsters from 1968. All Monsters Attack from 1969. Godzilla vs. Hedorah. 1971, Godzilla vs. Gigan from 1972, Godzilla vs. Megalon from 1973, Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla from 1974, and finally from 1975 we have Terror of Mecha Godzilla. So uh, we have quite a bit to get into here in, in terms of uh, films to view. Um, and so here we have kind of a kind of an intro to the series and then below we have eight blu-ray special edition collector set features so here it's discussing that it's uh, high definition digital transfers of all 15 films uh, we got audio commentaries international English language dub tracks for Invasion of Astro Monster, Son of Godzilla, Destroy All Monsters, Godzilla vs. Megalon, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, and Terror of Mechagodzilla. Uh, we've got interviews, uh, new interviews, archival interviews, um, trailers, audio essays, and then uh, and then they talk about the packaging. So, uh, lavishly illustrated deluxe hardcover book featuring an essay by cinema historian Steve Rifle, notes on the films by cinema historian a uh, cinema historian Ed. Uh, Going to butcher that last name, and new illustrations by Arthur Adams, Sophie Campbell, Becky Clunan, Jorge uh, Coelho, Jeff Darrow, Simon. Gain, Robert Gooden, Benjamin Mara, uh, Mana Robot, Takashi, uh, Okazaki, Angela Rizza, Yuko Shimizu, Bill uh, Sankowitz, Katsuya Tarada, Ronald Wimberly, and Chris uh, Wisnia. I'm so sorry if I've butchered any of those names. I'm certain that I did. <laughs> Um, anyway, so, yeah, so this is a kind of a removable card on the back, so there will be some more art on there, but, and then the cover, just awesome. So let's go ahead and, 
actually open this up. Yeah, such a commanding piece to have on the collector's shelf. I'm not entirely sure where this is gonna go. And again, I apologize that I can't really fit all of this in, in frame very easily, but that's part of the awesome nature of this set is that it's really a Godzilla-like set, it's huge. Okay, so let's go to the back here. So this does, sure we're not peeling up any of the well looks like the glue sticking on there I'm probably gonna keep this to fold up and have in the set um, yeah one of the issues with this glue I know it was kind of infamous for the the princess bride set they had glue on the back of that set and some of the color got pulled off as you pulled the glue off but that does not appear to be the case here. So here we have a nice picture of Godzilla going back out into the ocean. So just really cool style artwork. I really love the comic style of this. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oh. All right, and here we have just an amazing spread. And what I do like about this packaging I, I, I do want to bring up some of the, the positives. While I do wish that it was more of a box set, maybe something more akin to, uh, of course we have you know the Bergman set, which is kind of set a really high standard. Um, and that would be nice for kind of storing in the collection and things like that. But what I do have to say is I really like that this does kind of lend itself well to being a, 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 a book, something to, that you can lay down and open up and and enjoy reading the articles and looking at the art. It's it's a unique style of packaging um, and something that can definitely be enjoyed where you can you can enjoy all the visuals that this has to offer. So really cool spread there and we'll kind of go quickly through here. Again we have a list of the films here. Uh, so here's the essay they were talking about on the on the back, uh, Reign of Destruction by Steve Rifle. And again, we have the comic book kind of layout here. And so this is uh, the, the way that this is bound. So you have kind of the the pages with the um, the essays and whatnot and then you have this back section that is put in separately that's kind of glued to the back not not along the spine um, which is going to be the housing for our films so I actually really like how they bound this so that it's easy to open up and enjoy this section without having the movies kind of get pulled over as you have the book open, if that makes sense. Um, so some more really cool artwork here. And that's really one of the big pulls here to this set is just the amazing artists that they had produce pieces for this. Godzilla raids again. King Kong versus Godzilla. Oh, so is this a, let me go back because I think I, I missed what we were doing here. So we have that opening essay and then, okay, so it looks like we have a write-up. All right, let me, let me catch up here. <laughs> so we have a write-up uh, for each film, including cast and credit information. Okay, this is really cool. This is awesome. Um, so you can read up on each film. So we have King Kong versus Godzilla. Really fun <laughs> artwork there. Godzilla's getting owned by King Kong here. Mothra versus Godzilla. Oh, this is cool. Ghidorah the three-headed monster. That's really neat. That would actually make a great tattoo. 
Invasion of Astro Monster. Really cool artwork here with the spaceships and UFO type design here. And here we have Ibira, Horror of the Deep. Nice striking yellow color here. Here we have Son of Godzilla. Destroy all monsters. Oh, this one's cool. All monsters attack. That's a really cool perspective on that piece. Godzilla versus Hedorah. Wouldn't want to be shopping downtown when this happened. Godzilla versus Gigan or Gigan. And the cool thing for me is these are all going to be first time watches. Um, I have seen the original Godzilla, uh, but that said, I haven't seen any of the other films. So that'll be really fun to dive into this set. This one has a really, really cool, really different design. And here we have Godzilla versus Megalon. Another really different style in this artwork. And again, that's really kind of the the biggest feature of this set is that it gets to really put the artists on spotlight. And here we have Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. Another really cool piece. And finally, Terror of Mecha Godzilla. Really cool. Okay, and then here on this page we have an about about the transfers, uh, thanks, acknowledgement, and production notes. All right, so as stated before, so here, th this illustrates this better. So there's the, the spine. So on this section, you have all the essay and film information. And then over here, you have where the, the films are gonna be housed. And this is nice, thick, uh, kind of cardboard, really awesome artwork design there. And then what happens is we open this up and here we have all of our films on this amazing uh, spread. So here you see we have eight discs. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so it looks like we get a couple films on uh, so Godzilla so disc one is a single film disc two has two disc three has uh, three films same as disc four disc five has two disc six has two disc seven has two and then disc eight is going to be our supplemental material so that's cool that they put all of that on on one disc and then I'm not sure if behind the discs here if it if the artwork kind of continues yeah so the artwork continues there and then all of the discs are kind of the same design so you get the criterion C with uh, the films that are featured and yeah really nice So let's go in. And something I want to I want to point out here as well is that the uh, th this part of the artwork is has a little bit not not a rough texture, um, but where the discs are housed underneath there, that is a lot uh, slicker. It has kind of a a coating on there so that the discs won't get scratched when you are taking them in and out. So they definitely thought through that. All right, and then close that up. 
there's the back so and yeah it's got some nice heft to it um, guys I'm I'm really impressed I think this is a really well put together set yeah you know the packaging at first glance leaves a little bit to be desired in terms of um, you know kind of storing it in the collection or you know that type of thing the the Ingmar Bergman set I feel like is about as perfect as you can get in terms of how to package a, a large amount of films and you know in a in a collector set but I do love this for what it is and I feel like they did a really good job with the uh, with the artwork um, all throughout I feel like it's it's a really nice showcase for the artwork um, and I feel like the films are housed in such a way that they'll be protected you're not gonna have any issues with that whatsoever um, so this is uh, available now um, so this is released on October 29th 2019 and currently on Amazon this is running for $164.99 this has a suggested retail price of $224.99 and you might be able to catch this on sale. I know Barnes & Noble should be having a sale uh, here in November. So if you want to save a bit, um, you can get that at, at the Criterion 50% off sale. Um, yeah, so go ahead and uh, comment down below. Let me know, are you going to be picking up this set? Also, have you seen any of the Godzilla films or are you, are you uh, completely new to the Godzilla series like I said I've seen the first Godzilla film um, so a lot of this is going to be just absolutely brand new for me which I'm really excited about and then I've also got the uh, Ultra Q and Ultra Man sets to jump into from Mill Creek so lots of lots of great content to to jump into but yeah, in my opinion, this is definitely worth picking up. Um, really cool addition for Criterion and a fun celebration for um, uh, for Spine 1000. I, I, th I think they did a great job. So really good job, Criterion. This is going to be a gem in a lot of people's collections. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. This is David with Cartoon Fortress. And also I'm putting this out on Halloween. So Happy Halloween, stay safe, eat lots of candy, and have a great day.